Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. And in today's video, I wanted to talk about Verizon's CapEx and how it is currently invested between wireline and wireless. So at the beginning of 2016, Verizon was still spending very heavy on wireless just alone and wireline kind of took a lower cut on the investment. But as you guys see over the years, 2017 and 2018, wireless is getting lower and the wireline is increasing. And a lot of people are asking why? Well, Verizon made a purchase uh, of a company called Fiber One of 1.1 billion. And they are now rolling out that fiber to their uh, cell sites. And again, Verizon wants to be the party that controls their own fiber. They don't want to run through a third party. Um, they don't want to, you know, pay anybody else. They want to make this investment work. And I guess in the long run, it's going to allow them to spend less instead of having to pay a whole third party on fiber alone. So I've been talking to a, a buddy of mine and he says that, you know, he had, they had the contract to get the fiber going, but then Verizon laid them off it ended up uh, proceeding with the project on their own. So Verizon is getting very, very heavy on the wireline side on investing in rolling out their own fiber on their cell sites and small cells. And of course, this is going to benefit them in the long run for 4G LTE and 5G. And this is another case why the T-Mobile and Sprint merger is important on that from this point of uh, perspective. They can't spend this type of spending. If you guys see, they're spending, even at the lower end, they're still spending $8.5 billion on wireless and $6.3 billion on wireline, which benefits the wireless. And then they still have $1.9 billion of other CapEx, which they're probably still spending on wireless. The, the smaller two, they can't spend this. This is enough money to spend on density, coverage expansion, and wireline rolling out their own fiber. T-Mobile and Sprint separately, they, they just can't do that. They, they, they can't spend anywhere close to that. T-Mobile is on the higher end of 5 billion, closer to six. And Sprint now has barely raised theirs to, uh, to five, which is putting a strain on their numbers. So they would have to potentially, if they stay a standalone company, lower their CapEx here in the future to balance out the numbers. T-Mobile, according to their growth, they may be able to raise their capital investment a bit, but it may cut into their profits in the long run, and it'll cause them to, to run a much lower ARPU because of the more promotional offerings that they may have to offer to increase growth even more as the CapEx increases. But if they do increase CapEx, it's not gonna be as much as this. I mean, this is close to 18 billion on, on each of those years, so, T-Mobile's not going to be able to do that. T-Mobile may pull off seven, maybe eight, if they get help from Deutsche Telekom, but that is the most. So I just wanted to make that video this morning, letting you guys see how currently Verizon is spending their CapEx. And it seems like the numbers for 2019 aren't out yet, but it seems like that the wireline investment may have increased for this year. And Verizon is pushing very hard on that side. I think they're doing 14, uh, what was it? I forgot the numbers, but I think it's like 1400 fiber miles a month. So that is huge. And th those are the, the smaller, not smaller investments, but those are the smaller things that Verizon's doing that's not very well noted in the public. And th that's just something that T-Mobile and Sprint wouldn't be able to do. So definitely stay tuned to the channel. Lots more content coming. If you're new to the channel, make sure you like, share, subscribe. Also hit the notification bell so you're notified when I upload content. Make sure to follow all of my social media outlets for more updates. This is Tyrone with Tech Life, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.